So in continuing with our discussion of mandala and specifically mandala masterworks, I just want to talk a little bit about um, Chinese mandalas. Now, of course, Chinese mandalas are following after the Himalayan and Tibetan style, and the Tibetan style, of course, is actually coming from Nepalese uh, style, Nepalese sources. And uh, the Tibetans didn't, didn't change things too much, uh, for the actual mandala, what they did is they, they at times changed the, the, the landscape, the, the framing of, of uh, what's outside of the circular uh, mandala. Now, China did generally the same thing. The, the mandalas are, are still following very tightly with the Tibetan and Nepalese models, but the outside can be very stylish and different. Um, and so that's how we really recognize uh, the difference between Chinese mandalas, Nepalese, Mongolian, and Tibetan. Now, for masterworks, we really only have about about 12 on the Har website, and it really does account for kind of a majority of the Chinese mandalas. Uh, a lot of them are really quite good. China was never really into mandalas. It wasn't a big deal. We The oldest one we have is... Uh, it's 13th, 14th century. It's a textile, and it's out of the Yuan period. So it's the Mongol period, and, and also we could say the Sakya period of um, of um, being uh, tutors to the principal tutors to the Mongol um, uh, Khans of China. So that's the earliest. But then we kind of skip the 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 Yongle and Shuanda period. Uh, I have not been able to identify any uh, painted examples at this point. Now, there will most likely be Jungle and Schwanda possibly as murals, but I, I don't have um, any images uh, of those at this time. Um, so then we really jump. So we really have an early period and we have a late period. We have a middle period, but we have no examples from this middle period. So we have an early period and late period for Chinese mandalas. The late period is Kangxi and uh, Qianlong. And uh, we also have uh, an in-between Kangxi and Qianlong. We have a, a Yintao uh, prince of the, of the royal household. And uh, we only have one example at this time on, on Har, and it is number 23376 um, and it's a symbol mandala it's a symbol mandala of uh, Vajravarahi but it has beautiful um, uh, cloud a landscape above and in the foreground is a green um, uh, lush uh, um, hills and pasture land um, now this is from a large set of the Vajravali painting so it could be upwards of the of um, early 30s in, in number and uh, Several of them exist in Japan in, in museums, and uh, there are uh, several in China. Um, so, so we do know of this set, and it has an inscription on the bottom, which is why we know when it was done, and it was done by the prince uh, Yin Tao. And um, also it was um, the person overseeing the production was Chunky, the famous Chunky Rolpe Dorje, the teacher of the Chenlong Emperor and close, close confidant of the Chenlong Emperor. So... The majority of painting appears to be Qianlong. Um, we do have a, a, a possibly a ceiling mandala from a small um, architectural niche at the south side of the uh, of Beihai Stupa in the center of Beijing. And it's a ceiling mandala of Vajrabhairava. Um, very little damage during the Cultural Revolution, but it's hard to say whether or not it's original to the... Um, to the stupa which was uh, built to commemorate the fifth Dalai Lama's visit to Beijing in the in the 17th century. Um, so it, we don't know when it was repainted, um, very difficult to say. Um, okay, otherwise what we have is we have a number of different sets of paintings um, that were done during the time of Qianlong and, and they generally appear to be of the Vajravali, but then also we have indications that there could be some Nartang Gyatsa sets. That's uh, um, a, a sort of a collection of uh, mandalas and practices 
that were put together by Chim Nam Kadrak, and that's in, the, I believe, the late uh, 14th century, uh, out of Nartang Monastery. And uh, there appears to be evidence that, that there's some Nartang Gyatsa um, images as well, which, which are different from the Vajravali. Some, some, of course, are the same, but then others are different. Um, so it's quite interesting. Now, a number of the examples we have here actually still reside in the Palace Museum. They reside in the Tibetan, um, in the, the, the Tibetan, I don't know what you would call them, temple rooms um, in the uh, Forbidden City in the Imperial Palace in Beijing. Um, and uh, clearly done in this uh, Chenlong style. But with Chenlong, we have to also say that there could be palace style, there could be Yonghegong monastery style, and there also could be Chungde style, uh, which is just a, a location a few hours outside of, uh, of Beijing to the north, north uh, east, where they have um, a replica of the Potala Palace uh, of uh, Lhasa, Tibet. So we have some very, very interesting, they're very good quality, uh, they're lovely to look at uh, because the art is, uh, is made to be aesthetically pleasing. So um, th this really is a, a good chunk of the Chinese Buddhist mandalas that we have on Har. So we'll leave it there, you can press the like button, you can subscribe, you can join Har on Patreon, and very importantly you can make a donation on the homepage of Himalayan Art Resources directly on the homepage.